It was 3 a.m. Fellow YouTuber and minor annoyance, Tony Boyo messaged me. Thank me later, he said. I looked at the link and saw the words human farm, rehabilitation. Little did I know it then, but Tony had just dropped the most legendary video game of all time right into my lap. Now ladies and gentlemen, some people might think this game is nothing more than wank fuel, and I couldn't disagree more. It's a game about survival and about saving our environment. I'm not even making a joke here. See, it is the, I quote, 2x century, and due to excessive population growth and environmental problems, the world is struggling to find enough nourishing proteins to survive. Of course, not to worry, because desperate times fuel the fires of industry, and humans have created created their messiah, the mysterious M-Drug. Now I'm sure you are curious as to what this M-Drug does, so I'll let the game tell you in its own words. It provokes lactation in healthy women without the need for pregnancy, and thus the first official human farm opened. These establishments are now operated by the government, and are an essential part of humanity's effort to survive. This is all normal, and on a completely unrelated note, you should probably watch this video with headphones. Now, our main character is a girl, and her name is Placeholder Look Back on Footage. And Placeholder is at her lowest point. She's been charged with theft, public drunkenness, and assault. Which, to be fair, is basically an entry-level girl boss night out. But regardless, she was given a choice. Submit to a year of rehabilitation in a private facility, or become a test subject for the mysterious drug for a week. And of course, she jumped at the chance to legally give her body over to the government to do with as they please, so here she is. Now the first red flag reared its ugly head when I realized that the receptionist was simply labeled Milker. Placeholder of course misses this and multiple other red flags and only notices that something might be wrong when they take away her clothes and toss her in a room with multiple humans who are being, uh, milked. <laughs> I can't show 90% of this game, so just enjoy whatever footage I'm putting in here because, uh, oh my god, the stuff that's in this game. Anyway, Placeholder is shocked by what she sees, especially when she recognizes a friend of hers named Karen. After meeting Karen, Placeholder is put in the stall next to her and gameplay finally begins. You can walk around and interact with all the well-designed, fully voiced characters. <laughs> <laughs> On a more serious note, the gameplay is actually pretty well done. You can walk this way, and you can walk this way. So anyway, back to the story. We make a visit to the punishment room, and I go to meet this character. She asks us if we want to see Reminiscence opening Karen's milking time, which I didn't realize would replay the entire opening sequence, so I watched the entire opening sequence again. Then I realized that I'd softlocked the game when I went to talk to this character, so I restarted it and watched the entire opening sequence again. By the way, when I say watch, I mean click. Every dialogue option requires requires you to click to continue, even the dialogue options that just look like this, which is like 90% of them by the way. And if you want the text to appear quickly, you have to click twice. So by the time I could progress, my right hand was more tired than my left. On a slightly more positive note though, the art is actually not that bad. Like the environments you go through look pretty good for this type of game. And as far as the other art, it's not terrible, it's just not great. It's definitely Definitely not my cup of tea, if you know what I'm saying, but I'm sure some of you freaks would love the amount of uh, lactation. Uh. As far as the rest of the game goes, you have to escape the facility, that is your main goal, but you continue to fall into these very stereotypical circumstances. And uh, character development is really, um, it's not a thing. It's, it's not, <laughs> it's not a fucking thing. But I don't think anybody who's playing this game is there for a strong female protagonist anyway, so it, who cares? The game also has multiple endings apparently, but I did not stick around long enough to find that out because 
it is genuinely shockingly shit. Like, <laughs> it's not great. You can tell it was made with the intention to get past that two hour return limit that Steam has because most players' times are barely over that amount of time <laughs> in the reviews and stuff like that. So they clearly set out with a goal and accomplished it by having a lot of these voice lines to click through. Anyway, I I've run out of jokes and I've run out of time. This script is currently being written while I am in the car driving to work and using Siri to write. So yeah, not exactly how Game of Thrones was written. Well, maybe season eight, but it's still. So yeah, in closing, this game is actually shitty wank fuel and do not buy it. If you want a good time, just Google restrained chubby amateur Matt tickled by hung black Dom and have a great time for free. If you want a score, I'm a go with a fully soft out of 10. I, I don't know. Y anyway, uh, peace out. And I'm going to do more of these. So buckle up, cow, cow, cowboy, because the cow thing, lac lactation. All right. The world is struggling to find enough nourishing proteins. <sighs> I didn't realize how fucking stupid this script was when I wrote it. Uh, plus it's 11 a.m. and I've been up all night. Fuck.